my core take is that AWS is struggling to find its footing in a new market. I spent a week in Vegas this week at AWS reInvent, which means my sleep schedule is wrecked. Uh, so they found themselves behind the uh, AI eight ball and have moved, you know, well, you know, to the AI side of things. In many instances, forgetting their existing customers, this is a point I'm gonna make during the video, who may not have AI on the radar screen uh, now. And I, I talked to many organizations out there um, where they were impressed and they liked to see the AI announcements, but AI wasn't gonna be on the radar screen for another two or three years. And their concern is that they're getting left behind. So if they're leveraging the traditional services that Amazon Web Services is offering, then they're still looking to get the innovation. They're still looking to get the technology refresh. And it's clear that they're focused is on the AI side of things at uh, at AWS. So, so in other words, they're focused on an area of the market which they view as expanding. And the majority of their existing customers are basically how they make their money right now are not necessarily moving to AI, aren't planning to moving AI anytime in the near future. And it's a bit of a, a, a bit of a weird situation right now. So the concern that many of their traditional attendees that I talked to was that they feel the AWS is leaving them behind for AI and they're not getting the innovation love uh, that they feel they should be getting. And I think it's the fact that, you know, there's so much focus on the AI stuff that are traditional, you know, cloud computing stuff, storage databases, you know, things that are running enterprises these days have largely been left behind, certainly in terms of focus. And they're gonna move in any direction that AWS is moving, but they're gonna end up moving to less than optimized and under optimized architectures are gonna cost them many times the amount of money than they should. And I think, you know, very much like some of the mistakes we made in cloud computing, which is driving a lot of the repatriation these days, we're gonna see the same mistakes as people are moving to these deployment models when they certainly should be considered but they're not going to be the end state each and every time.